Yeah, hello. Yeah, I told you guys I'd uh, give you a quick little video here today after I've gotten this thing all torn down. So, uh, yeah, I got the head off and everything like that. And uh, pretty easy job. Now we've got some decisions to make, though. Anyway, I'll show you around here a bit first. First thing to uh, go over, I guess, which I probably said it before, is keep yourself organized, you know? Keep yourself organized. Little bit of masking tape, labeled. All your nuts and bolts, you know where everything's come from. You know, lay your cam journals out. Uh, the bolts for your cam journals are different sizes, so uh, you gotta keep track of where those came from. Okay. There's the old, uh, there's the old head. There's the old head there. So, but anyway, let's have a look here. Yeah. There's the piston and the old gasket. Okay. Looks pretty carboned up. Anyway, keep yourself organized. Organization. Few tools. What tools you need. You should know which tools you need. You know, if you've taken a bike apart a few times before. shelf of parts and pieces there rads rad guards exhaust seat valve cover dedicate a shelf just to those parts there's the new head up there but uh, yeah so anyway that uh, the piston seems pretty gummed up Here's the old cylinder head. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got quite a bit of deposit in there. You know, maybe it's running rich. I can't, I just changed the jet not that long ago. I can't see all that being built up from one jet change. You know, there's a bunch of crap in here. It's quite a bit of deposits. So I don't think it's from the last jet change I did. Mind you, we did do the JD jetting kit, which uh, increased the jet size by quite a bit. But this looks like a hell of a lot of carbon deposit. This bike's got 140 hours on it, so, you know. Ripping oil everywhere here. Wipe it like that, dripping oil all over the place. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, keep what tools you need out. You don't need your whole, whole toolbox strung out all over the place, right? You know, keep your ratchets, your extensions. You know, you're going to need a couple screwdrivers. Um, I just keep a bucket, bucket full of all the uh, sockets I know I'll need. Kind of keeps everything all together. Now this curved up piston deal here. Hmm. You got a decision to make. Okay, put a new piston in it and rings. You could probably use a new set of rings. I don't know if it's been done before. Uh, the bike does have 140 hours on it, so uh, probably could use a set of rings. And while I'm in here, why not? Might as well. Now is the time to do it, right? Another question you gotta ask yourself though. They make a 270 or 280 big bore kit for these bikes. Should we big bore kit it? I'm gonna leave it apart for a couple days. I gotta wait till Monday or Tuesday. Well, tomorrow's Monday. Tuesday, Honda dealerships open. I know how quick they ship stuff, which is nice. Uh, trying to get stuff out of. California and stuff right now is pretty tough. Like I said, the, just to get the cylinder head was three weeks, almost a month. So, I don't know. Should we big board kit this bitch? I don't know. You guys tell me. Maybe give me some comments of uh, 
uh, what Bingwork kit you've used or that you've heard of, which one, does, which one does your buddy use, so on and so forth. Okay, well, feel free to comment on that, whether it be a shitty comment or a good comment. I don't care either way. I prefer the good comments, but uh, yeah, the shitty ones will deal with them too. So, 270, it's a 15, 270 or 280 big door kit. I'm not sure. I've heard of a 280, I've heard of a 270, so I'm not sure what's out there until I research it a little bit more. But, uh, um, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Comment. Okay, you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Right on.